Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Hey, the other day I was looking through Amazon for a UV-10R, uh, kind of, you know, it's one of the newest ones out, and uh, I found this radio, which it says on an Amazon ad that is a UV-10R, but it looks a little different. So I picked it up just to see what it really was. Is it a Bofang or a Bofake? Let's check it out, see what it has to offer. Okay, so I did. I picked this radio up for um, thirty-seven ninety-nine on Amazon. It's a little bit higher now. I'll show you the site where I bought it. It came from a Brie, and I'm assuming that a Brie is the antenna company. I don't know. Um, I just assume that, so I may be wrong. But uh, let me just show you the box it came in because it's kind of interesting. The box it came in because if you look at the box, it says Digital Mobile Radio DMR. Well, guess what? It's not a DMR radio. So, I don't know. I guess they had extra boxes or whatever. Uh, it looked like it fits in there. But I, it says it also says, if you look at it, it says mobile, you know, mobile radio. I don't know what that means. Uh, but it does say DMR on the box and all that. So, maybe they're out of boxes. Who knows? Um, nowhere on this radio, if you look at it, does it say UV-10R? See, at least on the outside, it's a, it's actually a pretty nice radio. Um, feel wise, uh, when you compare it to a UV5R, they are very similar. Let's see, I can't do both hands at the same time. Uh, as far as the pat, the keypad and stuff, but this radio feels like you know sometimes things just feel like they have a little more quality to them, and this one feels like a little more quality than the UV5R. Whether it is or not, I don't know. The plastic seems a little bit nicer on it. It's got a nice feel on your hand. It's a good size radio. It's about the same size as a, as a uh, FT60. So um, let's dive farther into this. I'll bring the site up and uh, we'll look at see uh, what they say it does. And then we'll actually look and see what it actually does do. I, I bought a new little meter. Uh, where did I put that thing? I got this new meter here. It's a little digital meter. It works pretty good. I did compare it to my Daiwa, uh, which is a pretty good, uh, pretty good meter, and it's pretty doggone close, uh, within a eighth or a quarter of a watt. So I'm not too concerned. This and this gives you a nice little LED right out. So let's go over to the uh, to the Amazon site and just see what this radio, what they say about it. Okay, so here on the site, it has all the you, you get the pictures on the side here and it shows you all this different stuff and uh, it's got a light on it. It's got a radio, FM radio in it, which actually does work pretty well. It says worry-free service if you have problems with it, seven day hassle free. Now it says here, this it's, if you look, this is, this, is what's, this is what's really cool about this radio. If you look down here, it says uh, type C um, charging. And I have to tell you, it works. Uh, unlike, I know Ham Radio Dude did a, a video on on his 10R, uh, which is a totally different looking radio than what I have, and his his would not charge from there, and he had to play with it on the actual cradle charger, which this did come with. It doesn't it doesn't show it here, but uh, it does do a really it does charge no problem. Uh, 180 128 channels typical for a, a Bofang. Now this is. This part here, it says a 1500 milliamper battery, and I'll show you later that the, the battery is actually marked 1800, which, I mean, if you compare it to a UV5R, it's it's a bigger battery. I'm sure it's probably pretty, pretty accurate at 1800. Uh, Hands-free function, because it has Vox. Um, let's see what else it says here. Slight and portable, equipped with USB-C USB charging. Uh, LED flashlight and a charge LED transmission red reception green standard is and standard uh, flexible antenna it says FCC certificate it does have FCC not like this it has the FC with a C inside of it I'm not sure exactly which the official one is 
But I will tell you that when you go into Chirp, this does not work on the UV10R Chirp uh, programs. And I will tell you later which one it does work on. But it, does, it doesn't work on uh, the UV10R. It also does not work on the UV5R. So, and it says complies with relevant rules and parts 15 and 90. Oh, there's an FCC ID right there. You know, the one on the radio, it doesn't show an FC, FCC. I'll show you later. It doesn't actually show you something like this, but I will look this one up. Uh, I just found that, to tell you the truth, while, while we're recording here. So I will write that one down. All right. And I did use a, a cord um, to, or a, a programming co cable from a different UV5R that it worked just fine. So let me let me do we'll switch over to the overhead here. Um, now it says forty two ninety nine three dollars delivery. When I bought it, I paid thirty seven ninety nine, and I think I paid the three dollars delivery too. So it wasn't free shipping. It came from China, and right here, it's, you know, if you look down here, it says Abri ships from Abri and sold by Abri. So be that what it is, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's the same Abri company like I said earlier, that uh, makes the antennas or not. And I will say, it. Uh, my tracking was not the greatest on it. It said it was going to come USPS. It ended up coming something else. I don't even, there was no, there was nothing on the side. But um, it came within, I forget exactly, it was, a, it was a week or two. Okay, here's the box. Like I showed you earlier, it says digital mobile radio DMR, you know, on the side of it, Bofang DMR. So you open the box. It this I, I've already had it out, so you guys already knew that. And there's the radio. Comes with the, the uh, USB C charging cord. Let me just uh, show you everything else in here. There's the cord, the book. Now this book is uh, I have to say, it's pretty well written. Sorry about the glare there. And I am gonna have to apologize. I cannot. Uh, I already did this once. The uh, screen is not gonna show up except for when it's off. The the screen's just too bright. So, and it's, it's a, it's a pretty good, it's obvious that they had a good translator probably for this, this book. Um, I'd say pretty good as far as both end books go. You get your antenna, which is a normal, looks like a normal kind of both end antenna. Charging, your charging stand. And that works. And you got your earpiece with the microphone in it. And then the, the charger itself is it down here. Okay, so I will show you that this thing does charge on the USB-C here in just a second. Let me keep the antenna out and close this, get rid of this box for now. We don't really need it. All right, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. This is a, uh, my wife got this for me. She did a really good job for a ham. It's got uh, multiple, I don't know, it's got like multiple uh, solar panels on it. And, it, and these, these actually work pretty good pretty doggone good um I, I used it the other day and set out in the sun and it charged it right back up i'm told that if you let them go too low it takes a long time to get them to charge back though so kind of charge them as you go so on the back of this battery there's a usb port usb c all right we plug that in we should get a red light and there it is it's charging and i have uh, charged this thing all the way up from uh it wasn't wasn't too dead and didn't take it takes about the same it seems like it takes about the same time as the charging cradle which is not too bad okay one thing i didn't show you guys is a lot of people do not like the this to actually for this to be on the battery because then you, i don't know you have to take it off because usually you have screws but this one doesn't have screws and all you do is clip it in there so it's locked in there when the battery's on. Okay, let me unplug this. We don't need to charge it right now. Let's just actually go into the back of this. And it does, I'll tell you the truth, the, the, the clip actually makes it easier to um, pull this off. Okay, so here's the inside of the radio. It's a, it does say UV10R up here. FC has a FCC logo, whether or not it is or not. I have not checked it out. It does say um, U UHF and VHF frequencies that are legal in the United States. You have your pins for your battery up here. 
I've taken this thing apart and looked inside and the, the inside it actually does say UV 10 R on it also. So I don't know what the deal is. I know the one that uh, ham radio dude and Jason both have theirs look alike. They don't look anything like this one. Okay. On the battery itself, it does show, um, 33.32 watt hours, 1800 amp hours, um, has a part number and 7.4 volts. And I, I, if, if a regular UV, um, five R battery is that size, I would, I would assume this one's just probably, it's probably pretty correct. I don't have any way of really testing that for you. Let's just go ahead and put the antenna on here just in case. We'll go back out here. Now I have to apologize. I cannot get the uh, the screen to show up. So when we turn it on, it sounds like a regular UV 5R when you turn it on. Welcome. Frequency mode. Okay. Now, unfortunately, the screen is so bright. I can't, I, I didn't figure out any way of getting the screen to uh, darken, but you can kind of see it there. So it looks pretty much like a regular UV 5R inside and same with the uh, the ones the UV 10 R's that Jason and uh, ham radio dude had they look similar except the, the the difference on theirs is this is up here in this area just like a UV 5R up on top and not in the middle now I mentioned earlier that this when I went into uh, chirp it would not work with the UV 10 R software uh, when you click on that, it didn't work. It also did not work on the um, the 5R either, UV 5R. But it did work on a radiodity bat uh, radio, and that's the I'll tell you the truth. It's a um, XG 310, I think it was something like that. I've got it written down here someplace, and um, that's the closest radio that we could uh, get to look like. the The difference on that one is it had up and down and side to side, and these these four four buttons here that was up and down and side to side instead of the two up and down ones. Other than that, when I, when I used the software for that one and, and chirp, it immediately downloaded what was in the radio into the computer and allowed me to set all my channels that I wanted to set. So it did work fine. Up here, you got a flashlight button. You click, uh, yeah, you gotta have it on. So you get the light flashing light and then off push this button on. Off. and that turns the uh, the FM radio on and I tell you the truth that works actually pretty well and you got your push to talk button here then on this side under here you got your your headphone setup or your charging or your uh, cord to do the um, programming with and that's pretty much it on the outside of this radio. Now it has um, it has 39 menus, so pretty close to about the same thing as a UV5R. Uh, I think that's a one or two less than the other guys had on theirs. Um, it has 128 channels, or memories, I should say. It will not. Now Jason's would actually transmit in do 220 this one will not even uh it won't even go there it just tells you it just goes right back to where you were so that doesn't work so let me go ahead and and let me hook up my uh my watt meter to this thing and we'll show you what it is i've got it set on 146 520 and 44 well we'll set this at let's see four 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 zero 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 so this is frequency so when you uh, we're on 4400 so when you click it um, goes right to 44. So, it, so frequency wise, it's pretty good. That's, that was 4,400 for most of it there. Okay. And then we change it 146, 520, 146, 520. Okay. Now on this radio right down here is your low and high. So let's just, let's do 146, 520. 
We'll change this to power. And it seems to build power <laughs> for some reason. So let's hit it. So 4.8 watts, 4.81. That's on high power. So we'll go to low power. And this is, is not totally charged. So that's not too bad actually for a Bofang. That's, this one actually says five watts in the book. It doesn't say eight or 60 or anything like that. So on low power, uh, one, so about 1.4. 1, 1. So that's not bad. So let's go to um, 44, 444 4, 4, and we are on high power. So 3.98, so pretty good. I mean, it's for Bofang, I think that's pretty acceptable. We'll go to low. And about, about 1.2. So and that's that's probably about right. Um, one in five usually. Uh, it's just a little below five and a little over one. Power-wise, it's as, as advertised pretty close. I do know that my... Uh, I have two FT60s and I tried them out on this on this uh, watt meter also and they were just one was just right under five watt I mean it was like 5.99 or 4.99 the other one was 5.01 or something like that so fairly comparable I mean you're not going to notice the difference there so all in all I I do like this radio as far as the fit and feel and finish and all that stuff I don't know what it really is and I will. I will bring up the, uh, I think when we go back to the other view, we'll, we'll bring up what, what I think it kind of is from radiodity. I don't know. It doesn't, nothing says radiodity on it. Just the closest radio I could find. And it did, you could program it from that uh, software. Now on the radiodity site, this is the radio that I can find that it comes the closest to. If you look at the middle here, this is a little bit different. And uh, let me show you, there's a picture of it right here. Hopefully this isn't the screen. Um, so that's the two radios. Um, now this one, this one here is sixty-four dollars. Comes with an extra battery and a and a programming cable. And I will tell you that this is a GA five ten, and the radio that I have will, if on chirp, the it will download from this GA five ten setting. All right, I don't, uh, I don't really know what this radio is. Maybe you guys have a better idea of what it is than I do. Uh, put it down in the comments if you think you know what this radio is. Like I said, it will uh, the Radiodity radio. It will program from that uh, software. And I think one other thing I'm going to try and get done before the end of this is uh, I'll do a little uh, test with it. I'll I'll use my FT60 and that radio, and uh, we'll do a little sound of both radios how it receives and how it sends so it's, so you can hear it on the FT60 how it sounds and vice versa KK6 USY testing test 1 2 3 4 4 3 2 1 KK6 USY testing complete KK6 USY testing testing 1 2 3 4 4 3 2 1 KK6USY testing complete. Maybe you've already bought this. Let, let me know in the comments if you have bought this radio and what you think of it. So hopefully uh, this is of a, a, some value to somebody out there. Uh, it, it hopefully hit that like button. Um, if you're new here, you can hit the subscribe button. Hit all. That way you'll get all my new videos. Uh, I do a lot of stuff in uh, ham radio. So th this is one of the first uh, reviews I've done on a radio like this um, on, a hand, on, a, on a handy talkie. So uh, I, I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. I know your time's vi valuable. And uh, so 73 is all. Everybody be safe. And hopefully we'll catch you on the airwaves. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. 73 all.